Everyone shoots hundreds of pictures and video yearly, and many of them are selfies. But most people don't think about the memory until they run out of space. Today we'll be talking about various types of non-mechanical media storage devices. In other words, we're talking about solid state SD cards. So we're calling today's episode, Thanks for the Memory Card. Like I said, everyone shoots hundreds of pictures and videos. Then they're making impromptu decisions on what to delete. This problem usually happens while recording, at an event, and especially at a big event. When we do try to plan ahead and try to buy memory, we run into problems. We open our devices, try to figure out what type of memory we should buy. Then we go to the store or online, and the salesperson is asked what class of memory that we want. Now we're stuck. Now we're asking ourselves, what is this class thing? Is it a class 4, class 6, or a class 10? Another question we ask ourselves is, why should we buy a class 10 memory card instead of a class 4? Especially when a class 4 is cheaper. Simple, high performance cameras can operate with a class 4 or a class 6 card. However, many of the camera features are disabled or act sluggish during operation. In other words, it's like driving a four-cylinder car with a trailer uphill in Texas during the summer with cheap gas. You'll get to your destination, but your car's engine will work extra hard to get you there. A Class 10 car is like having premium fuel, eight-cylinder turbocharged truck pulling a trailer downhill in other words, there's very little stress on the engine. In basic English, a Class 10 card records your information at or close to twice the speed. Using a basic Class 4 2 gigabyte memory card and a $4,000 camera would be like racing a Honda Civic against a Ferrari at Le Mans. The Class 10 high performance cards are currently the fastest SD cards readily available at the local big box stores. There are faster cars, but we're talking professional cars at professional prices. Let's talk about the history of SD cars and what's in a name. In the next episode, we'll talk about holographic memory, bubble memory, and other types of non-standard memory that most of us will never even see. Until next time, enjoy.